got a lot of points that come out into the lake mm -hmm. when you're boat access. But, you know, and obviously, you get your wind blowing over the lake, you're okay. Yeah, you know, you park the boat right on the, and if the uh, water level fluctuates, so you got a lot of steep banks where you can hide the boat right under the bank and pop right up there and you can tell. And that works. Uh, and that's kind of what uh, Joe did in his hunt. He went to the downwind side of that, that thing. Was, I mean, that was farm. It's a little different. But it's blowing over an open field. And he got up on that edge, and the deer would circle in tight. He went to that bed, and he let that deer come in there in the dark, bed down. Um, I'm sure most of you watched that video. And then he shot it when it got daylight enough to shoot it. Okay. In the bed. It still works, but it really it's more of a challenge than what you think. In a spot like this, it would be pretty hard to do that, because you're going to circle in from downwind. They're going to wander around here in the dark and, and hit your scent trail. Um, they don't move much in the, um, in the morning outside of the rut. They just don't. I gen generally, when I hunt mornings and I try to do stuff like that, it's spots where uh, where I think there's no way in hell I'm getting anywhere near that bed in the evening. I just can't do it. It's too well set up. And I'll go give it a shot, and it's really low odds, but I don't want them bedding there anyways. So we bug him out of there. He's going to go someplace where I can hunt. If you look out there, you can see the thermals coming up out of the water, even though it's frozen. Yeah, you can. You can kind of see the... Yep. Yeah.